Welcome to the hackathon. Close on this stuff. The hackathon live session for Wit AI. Uh, I'm going to walk us through creating a uh, Wit AI app and uh, setting it up backed by a Facebook page and a Facebook Messenger app so that users can interact uh, with your app. Okay, hold on. Everybody bear with me one second when we get all the technical details going. All right, I can confirm that it is working, so we're cool. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, everybody's here for Wit AI. So we're going to go to Wit AI, we're gonna create a new app that uh, lets the user do a few things. We're going to ask what time it is in different cities throughout the world, and we're also gonna be able to ask the distance between any two cities. So I'm going to create a new app here. I'm just going to call this the WIT Live Session. The name is already taken. So WIT Live Session 2, it is. OK. Um, so here we are. Here we're in WIT AI. And now we're going to create our first utterance. This is an example of what a user might ask in order to do two of the things we talked about. So first, let's start with getting the time in a current city. So I'm going to ask, what time is it? Spell that correctly. What time is it in Menlo Park? Okay. And when the user asks this, we want to resolve it to a specific entity. So eventually, when we have some code that's handling this response, we know what to do with this. So I'm going to call this new intent time at place. Okay. And then we're also going to highlight Menlo Park, right? Because we want to specifically capture this information so that when our code is handling it, we know this is the location that we're supposed to return the time for. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to select this part of the utterance as a wit location entity, OK? So then I'm going to take this whole thing and kick it into the training queue. And now let's create our second utterance for the other feature that we talked about. So getting the distance between two cities. So what's the distance between Seattle and Menlo Park? Okay. Now when the user asks this, okay, we're going to create another entity for this type of request. So I'm going to call this intent distance between. Create that intent. And then, so it already grabs Seattle as a location, but I want to make sure we get both locations, okay, grabbed and selected as a location so that we can handle that. So I'm going to kick that into the training queue. And we'll just hang on for a minute. Okay. Um, so if we go to our intents tab here, we see that we've created the two intents, okay, distance between time at place. They're both using a wit location entity, OK? Um, so now if we go to utterances, we see the two utterances that we added. This one for the middle park, uh, what time is it? This one for what's the distance between the two places, OK? So while this continues with the training, we're going to go ahead. We're going to create a Facebook page, and we're going to create a Facebook app to back that page. So if I go back here to Facebook pages, OK, I'm going to create a new page. This time I'm going to go my own business or brand. And I'm going to call this Wit Session. Um, and let's put this in the education category. Create that. OK. Uh, let's see. Let's upload a profile picture. Um, I have one ready. Boom. Um, let's upload a cover photo. Boom. OK. And then I um, don't need a calendar. We'll skip that for now. OK. So here we are with our new Facebook page called the WIT Session. OK. So this is a page that's public that users could come and eventually chat with. OK. So now that we have our page, we're going to create a Facebook app. OK, so I've already created an app, um, but it's a brand new app. So basically what you do 
you go to developers.facebook.com, okay? And then it's going to, you have a My Apps section, and then you're just going to add a new app, okay? So give everyone, if anyone's following along, give you a minute to do that. And when you get to a new app, this is basically what it looks like. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add the Messenger product to our app because we're using a Messenger bot basically to attach to our page. So let's go ahead and set this up. Okay, so here we have the configuration for the Messenger app. Uh, and it involves a lot of things, tokens and stuff that we're gonna use to get all our pieces talking together. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do is add a page. So I'm going to add a remove page. Okay, continue, um, okay. And I'm gonna select the new wit session page that I just created. Okay, done. You're now linked with wit live session to Facebook, perfect. So now we see here we have the wit session page um, hooked up to my app, okay? Now we're also, eventually we're gonna need to create uh, web hooks and we're gonna need to generate a token. But before we do any of this, we need one final piece, which is some code. Um, this is gonna be JavaScript, Node.js code, that's going to hook all this together, okay? So the Facebook app is effectively going to forward any messages that the users type into your page. They're gonna forward it to your Node.js app. The Node.js app is then going to connect to the Wit AI get the response, and then send it finally back to the user. So I've already created a app on Glitch. So Glitch is a nice website that lets you quickly and easily create a uh, just an app that's running in the cloud. So we'll share the link to this if someone has that. Um, and I'm just going to spin up a remix, which is basically copying this whole project and making a new one so we can go from here. So it's gonna copy this project. It's going to keep all the code that uh, was in the project, but it's gonna be a unique app, okay, with its unique uh, environment variables that we're going to use to connect all these pieces together, okay? So we have all these diff different environment variables that we're gonna use to connect all our things. So first, uh, I'm gonna use a, uh, what do we want? First, let's do the app secret, okay? So if we go back to our app, we go to settings, basic. Okay, and so then we're gonna get the app secret for this app. So it's gonna ask me for my password. Nobody look at my password, please. Okay, then we're gonna grab the app secret, okay, and go back to our glitch app to the environment and paste it in there, okay. Then we're also gonna need the WIT token, okay? So this is the token for your WIT AI app so that the Glitch app can talk and make requests on behalf of the WIT AI app, okay? So in WIT AI, we'll also get a settings. And we have here our server asset access token. So I'm gonna copy that token and put it into my Glitch app here, okay? Now the Facebook Verify token is another token that we're gonna provide so that when our Facebook app contacts our webhook, it knows that it's uh, make up a Verify token and I'm gonna copy that. And then when I go, I'm gonna put something here for now just so. Uh, everything is happy, okay? But I'm gonna grab the Epi Verify token. What does the fox say? I'm going to go back to my Facebook app, okay? Go back to the Messenger settings. And then I'm going to go to the uh, webhooks, okay? So this is creating a webhook, which is effectively the Facebook app is going to ping your Node.js app, right, to make sure that it's alive and going. So I'm going to add the callback URL. So first, since I already have the Verify token in my clipboard, I'm just gonna post that there. That's our Verify token. That's what the Facebook app is going to expect back to know that we're all synced up, okay? So then the callback URL 
that is going to be effectively the URL for our app here. So if I go to, sorry, if I go to share, live app, copy, this is the URL for this app. Whoops, I don't think it copied. Copy, okay. So I'm going to paste it into my callback URL. So notice this is just like a standard URL, and this is going to be the webhook, okay? So I'm going to verify and save. Great. So basically, that pinged our Node.js app. We responded with the appropriate verify token, and so Facebook knows we're all hooked up, okay? So last thing we need is the page token, okay? So here, I'm going to generate a token for the page, okay? I'm going to understand that I need to keep this safe and secret. I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to put it into here, okay? So done, done. Okay, so hopefully, if everything is working, uh, these will start to interact now. So if I go to the page, okay, this is the Facebook page that is now connected to a Facebook app, which is connected to a Node.js app, which is connected to a Wit AI app. So if you follow that whole stack, um, we're then going to go to uh, View Pages Visitor, so we can see it as if we're not the admin, but what anyone else would see, okay? So I send a message. And first, I'm just going to type anything here to see what happens and see if we're connected, OK? So far, nothing. It might take the Glitch app a minute to load up. But in the meantime, I'm going to go here, go to my logs, and see. OK, we are listening. We did get the web hook, but we haven't quite got the uh, Facebook message yet. Hold on one minute. Let's see if there's anything that I missed. Da, 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 da. Session. Messenger. Ah, did we? Ah, yeah, there's something I missed. Hold on. Sorry, I have like a million messages coming at me all the time. Um, OK, so we also need to add uh, subscriptions to our page, OK? So here we're going to add the messages and the messaging postback subscriptions, OK? So more than just being connected to the page, we need to actually connect to the abilities of the page. All right, so now, hopefully with that set up, let's try this one more time from the Nope, from here, OK, from the page. Just type some gibberish. There we go. OK, everything is connected. So here we've just sent some gibberish to the app. Um, and then it's responding, ask me something like, what time is it from Menlo Park, or how far is Menlo Park to Seattle, OK? So if we go back to the app, and we want to trace exactly what's been happening here, OK? So if we look at the logs inside the Glitch app, we see that we got the data from WIT, OK? So in the WIT handler inside the Glitch app, OK, we're going to look at the code and see what we're doing here, OK? So after we get the response from WIT, we're going to take that response and then return it into a response to send to the user, OK? So in this case, we just got some gibberish, OK? So the gibberish did not match. It's not a time and place. And so instead, we just handle gibberish, which is the, you know, just the static text that we return to the user. Okay. But if now, oops, if now I go back and I say, for example, what time is it in Seattle? Okay. Boom. It's currently 9:15 in Seattle. So if I go back and see exactly what happened, so here. We, uh, we sent that request to WIT. WIT resolved it to the, sorry, the time at place, OK? And so then that we run the time at place function in the code. And so all of this will be live and available to you guys. You can check out exactly how it's working. But basically, what this just does is it takes a 
WIT location entity that we're getting from WIT is finding the time and then returning the time to the user, okay? Um, so then if we go back and we try the other one, so we say, for example, what did we ask? How far is it from, uh, what did we say, Seattle to Menlo Park? Okay, oh, so that did not resolve correctly. This resolved to the time at again. So let's go back into Wit AI and see if we can add a few more utterances to help it understand better what we're actually asking. So what's cool here is if you go to the utterance tab, or sorry, to the understanding tab, you should see, maybe I need to refresh. Yeah, you should see, so these are the things that we've asked from the Facebook page. Oh, hold on, cool. So this is the text that the Facebook page has forwarded to our WIT app, okay? So we can now adjust how we want to handle it, okay? So if we just type in ASDF, ASDF, this resolved correctly to out of scope. We, you know, that's not something we care about. We're not gonna reply to that. What time is it in Seattle? This correctly resolved to time at place, so that's great. Okay, but this one resolved to time at place. So we need to change this, kick it back into training, okay? So we're gonna say this is actually distance between. This is what we're looking for when the user asks something like this. So we'll train and validate that again, okay? This was successful, so we can train and validate. All of these are fine. We can kick them into the uh, queue so that they'll eventually be handled, okay? So now we see the training is scheduled, okay? It's gonna happen this minute. So we'll just wait for this to finish. Then we'll go back to our Facebook app, ask again, and see if Wit AI has better resolved uh, our utterance. Cool, training complete. So now we're gonna go back to the Facebook page. We're gonna ask again, how far is it from Seattle to Menlo Park? Boom, and now we see it's you know 1,128 kilometers from Seattle to Menlo Park. So Wit AI has now successfully resolved this. And now to do, just to show what's cool is we don't have to say Seattle or Menlo Park, we don't have to train every single one of these utterances, Wit AI is going to learn and adapt to that automatically. So we can say now, how far is it from, for example, London to Paris? Okay, and then it gets us the distance here. Okay, so we don't have to go to Wit AI, train every single thing. We just have to give it a few examples until it picks up on uh, what we're asking, okay? Um, so that's basically the demo. Uh, we've gone, we've created a Facebook page, We've created a Facebook app that is tied to that Facebook page with the messenger uh, abilities from that page. The Facebook app forwards all the messages to our Glitch Node.js app, okay, which basically grabs the text from the message, uh, forwards that text to Wit AI, okay. We have our Wit AI app. It takes all the messages coming from the Facebook page. It resolves them to our specific intents resolves the entities, sends those back to our Glitch Node.js app, okay, which then handles the different intents and entities, converts that into a message we want to send back to the user, which forwards it back and back here, okay? So that's the round trip. Um, I hope that gives you an idea of what all you can do with uh, Wit AI and the different type types of experiences or bots you could create. and. Uh, from there, uh, we'll wait and see if there are any questions or if anyone wants to chime in. Um, let's see how it goes.